am Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Diamond Rope of B3 Killing Harmony. We are going to finish the fifth class trial in this episode. If you guys cool with that, you down with that? Everybody get ready and buckle up, because here we go! The flashback light became the motive. When Kokichi remembered that he was a remnant of despair, I planned to kill him. I thought that if I killed him, this game and the battle between hope and despair would end. I was confident in my talent as an assassin. I knew I would be able to do it. We've tried to end this killing game before, but... You are naive. Huh? That's what I thought. I knew Kokichi would take advantage of my naivete, simply because it's him. Naivete. I like the way she said that. <laughs> Maki totally gets me! That's why. I still feel I like nobody's in there. Myself. I took the poison arrows and the crossbow and broke into the hangar with an exosol. I think that both of them are dead. But when I entered the hangar, I saw something I never expected. Kaiju okay. and Kokichi were fighting each other. Kokichi was shot in the arm with a crossbow arrow. Probably by Kaito when he fought back. Both of them stopped and looked at the exosol, most likely surprised by its sudden appearance. Kokichi immediately took out his remote and attempted to control the exosol I was in. I jumped out of the exosol before he could, and shot Kokichi in the back with an arrow. That should have been enough to stop him, since the arrow was coated with poison. Okay, so that means Kokichi's dead, because poison went inside of him. This is 9 poison, correct? But why pick that particular poison? Some of the poisons in my lab were far more lethal. It says even a small I amount in the body will certainly mean death. Before he died. And find out why he was always lying and trying to confuse us. What do you mean? If he was the mastermind, it would have been easier for him to hide in the shadows, right? Yeah, that's why he's he not the mastermind. Seem as if the late he's Junko a liar. He'll say anything. Behind this killing game. That way, he could reveal himself as the surprise mastermind to liven up the game. Because of his suspicious actions, anyone would already suspect him as the mastermind. Especially with that message in the courtyard. Kokichi said it was a hint. But was it necessary for him to go out of his way just for a hint? I think the fact that he's saying that he's the mastermind and acting despair, like he's such a bad guy, he's I not really the bad guy. I to feel the despair of his plan being thwarted. I think that if he wanted the thrill, he would have carried out the plan carefully. Exactly. So when his carefully laid out plan goes to waste, he would be in utter despair. Yeah, he's not the mastermind. He's just a lovable asshole. That's a good point. Maki must have wanted to hear it directly from Kokichi himself. But it was pointless. I was a fool for thinking I could have a serious talk with him. What are you talking about? Remnants of despair? What's that? I, I don't understand anything you're saying. But anyway, why are you starting up killing game when it should have ended you already know it's all meaningless and that i'm the mastermind do you love killing that much shut up you asshole <laughs> i realized it was pointless to continue the conversation so i shot the final arrow wait she killed him then Wait, did she shoot it anyway? Kaito protected Kokichi? Why? Why would Kaito protect Kokichi? No, if she shot the arrow, it would have heard like a shooting arrow sound like a shoot. Like a shoot. At that moment, my mind went blank. I knew I had to do something about the poison. I rushed to Shuichi's research lab for the antidote. So you didn't have the antidote with you at the time? I used Strike 9 poison to torture Kokichi for info. But I planned to kill him from the start. Jesus. <laughs> That's so mean. Remind me to never piss off Maki, god that dang. That was my first mistake. Because of that. You what? I ended up killing Kaito. Wait, I think they're both dead. When I returned with the antidote, the hangar shutter had been closed. I assumed it was Kokichi's doing. But because of that, I couldn't enter the hangar anymore. I needed to give Kaito the antidote somehow, so I went to the bathroom window. Shh. Kaito!
Naruto, can you hear me? Quick, drink this antidote. All you hear is somebody chugging and going, me. <laughs> check the antidote through the bathroom window. Imagine that would be so freaking epic. I mean, it would be set for Kaito, but it would be epic Tokichi for Kokichi. Stole it from him. How do you know that? Oh. Sorry, but I can't die here. I mean, you got an arrow that looks like it's lodged right in your spawn, my guy. Did I say spawn? I mean Since spine. I'm the mastermind of this killing game. Wait, there's only one antidote. Split oh, it. Go half seas. You don't have to worry about Kaito. He fulfilled his dream, right? He already went to space. He's about to see the stars. Damn it. You're going to chug Is that whole thing, my guy? Come on. Not even a little sip for Kaito. Whew. I feel so much better. I guess that's a wrap. Bro, the cap's still on. Or maybe not. Because now another class trial is going to start. Class trial? You'll be the blackened for this case, you know. The blackened who killed Kaito. I... I killed... No, Maki. Everybody... Shut it. Screw the class trials. Like hell am I gonna let you have your way? Kaito! Why did you protect Kokichi? If you didn't help him, then... I couldn't help it. Even if it's Kokichi, I, I can't have you kill anybody. That's a real friend. What? That's a real one. Aww. Kaito wasn't protecting me. He was protecting Maki. The situation just got way worse. Huh. Maki is gonna become the blackened responsible for killing you. All because you protected me. So don't you worry, Maki Roll. I'm not gonna die that easily. Just leave it to me. I'll put an end to this killing game. <laughs> You're still full of energy. Even like that. You really are... not boring. What? <laughs> I want to see what a dying Kaito can do. So, show me what you've got. I won't meddle with your plans. What are you... Don't mind me. Run, Maki Roll. Just... hurry up and run. Run! And live. You gotta live. Well, she won't live for much longer but if she is the black and if Kaito dies up. from the poison, right? I tried to enter the hangar by breaking the control panel with my knife. In the end, I couldn't. That's why there were scratch marks on the keypad. So that's where the marks on the control hey, panel. Hey, Himiko, came from. I said that, alright? After that, I returned to the bathroom window once more. I didn't see anyone. The bathroom door was closed. I called out, but neither Kaito nor Kokichi answered. That's interesting. I couldn't do anything anymore. All I could do was leave. That's when I made up my mind. As the blackened who killed Kaito, I would kill Kokichi during this class trial in exchange for all of your lives. Damn. So that's what happened. Then Kokichi, not a fair trade. <laughs> knowing what he knew, still helped Maki cover up her crime? Was that why you smushed Kaito in the hydraulic press? Kaito wanted Maki to be spotless. As his friend, I felt obliged to help him. How dare you make fun of him! You call yourself a friend? You enjoyed watching us suffer! You brought a knife to the class, Charles? Don't we have to go through like a metal detector? <laughs> Fucking asshole! Whoa. Ooh, Maki is That's so the first time I heard scary. her drop an F bomb. Good thing I'm in this exosol. Pretty sure Maki would have already killed me if I was out there in the flesh. So, what are everyone's plans now? Shuichi is not going to let everybody vote right now. Who are you now? guys going to vote for? You can vote for me, but if you do, we'll all die together. Or vote for Maki and live. Well, choose whichever you want. I don't care either way. Why? Why are you so calm? Your life depends on this too. Still sticking to my theory that both of them are dead. Who cares? Just choose already. Come on, who are you gonna vote for? No, we can't vote yet. My guy. We don't my have guy. the whole truth. Yup. This case isn't over. That's why he's my favorite huh? out of all the main characters that we played as. Thank you for telling us everything, Maki. Thanks to you. I finally understand. Like he has a good sense of smell because he can smell that There's bullshit. There's another hidden truth within your testimony. A hidden truth? Yes, I'm positive. Because there's something wrong with a testimony you've given us. Uh-oh. 
I wasn't paying attention that hard. The part of Maki's testimony that doesn't add up. The Kaito protecting Kokichi, the control panel being damaged, Maki becoming the black end, Kokichi drinking the antidote? Is that it? No! Damn it! Son of a mother bitch! Okay, it's gotta be number three. Maki becoming the black end. Right? What the heck? Are you serious? Alright, Kaito protecting Kokichi. What the? I really picked all of them wrong. I'm an idiot, dude. That's it. Yeah, that is it. Hey, you all didn't see those. Maki first said she things. used a knife to try to break the control panel and enter the hangar. But we saw those scratch marks, though. That doesn't make sense because there's an alarm system on the shutter. That's why I didn't pick that one because we obviously oh, yeah. saw some scratch marks. The alarm should have gone off if someone got close to the shutter. Man, come on, I was bro. Too focused to notice at the time, but now that you mention it, it is odd. Maybe the sensor just missed her. Nah, the security there isn't that sloppy. If a shady person got near the shutter, the alarm would have gone off without question. Okay. And why didn't the alarm go off? Like I told you, this isn't over. There's still a hidden truth to find. There must be some kind of reason behind all these oddities. Finding that reason will help us find the hidden truth. All right, spin the room around. Let's get this thing going. First non-stop debate of today's episode. Let's get to it. Hatches electric lock, crossbow electro bomb, hangers front shutter. Hanger. What's hangers front shutter? And I tried to destroy the Exiles control panel protecting with my Monokuma, knife. hatch electric lock. At the time, the alarm system Let's do this one. Off. Hangers front shutter. Let's see what happens here. The shutter. The alarm would have activated with. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It is protected by an electric barrier, and if someone approaches it, an alarm will sound throughout the academy. The alarm can be disabled with the alarm remote. The control panel for the electric barrier is next to the shutter. It has marks on it, although it was struck by something sharp. But if you would approach the shutter, the alarm would have activated with 100%. Hold on, is this? Nope. Okay. That was my first choice, oh, but I got one more choice that we're going to shoot that bullet at. What about electro bomb? Maybe that's it? The shutter, the alarm would have activated. Is it this? 100%. Okay, got it. That's wrong. So only two people had an electro bomb. Kokichi and Maki, I believe. There is a way to disable the alarm system. An electro bomb would take it down. But Maki only had one bomb, and she used it during the raid this morning. Yeah, but Kokichi had the other bomb. Then the only other person who could have used one is Kokichi, right? Right. Huh? Why would I use an electro bomb? I had no reason to shut off the alarm, right? I'd be at a disadvantage if I did that. I guess so. I can't come up with a reason why Kokichi would want to cut the alarm. Maybe somebody stole his electro bomb. But we know that the alarm system was neutralized. It had to be. In that case, then... I've got it! Disabling the alarm system wasn't the real objective. What? The main objective of Kokichi using an electro bomb was... Disable the remote control. Disable the remote... No, disable the press's safety function. That's it! Because he wanted to turn Kaito into the... It was to you know? deactivate the safety function on the press. Duh! Okay, now I'm getting into it. Function? The electro bomb wouldn't have just taken down the alarm system. It also would have disabled the hydraulic press's safety function. Yeah, because if it detected a body, it wouldn't operate. That's, That's what it true, is. But why would he do that? All right, well, There's let me explain. There's reason that anyone would want to do that. But if I'm right, it means that we've been thinking about this all wrong. All wrong? What aspect of this case runs contrary to the new evidence? The mastermind of the killing game, Kaito's cause of death, the credibility of the death video? Oh, man. Okay, I think it's the second one. I just wanted to choose the third one one time. That's it. Okay, Kaito's cause of death. He didn't die from the poison, so Maki is not the killer. Death. What? If the electro bomb was used while Maki was trying to deliver the antidote, maybe Kaito didn't die by poison. It could be something else entirely. Yes, the cause of death could now be. What? Okay, um, the cause of death could now be. Exizzle? I don't know. What do, you, what do you want me to do about this? A hydraulic press? This is it! Okay. Well, yeah. I, I didn't think it was going to be the that hydraulic obvious. Hydraulic press. Kaito could have been killed by the press after all. What? 
He could've. So he was slowly dying by the poison, couldn't really move, and then Kokichi killed him with the press? If the safety was off, the press could have crushed that's Kaito while he was still alive. I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty freaking savage. Right after I threw the antidote, I tried to open the shutter. So, Kaito should have still been alive. And if he was crushed by the hydraulic press after that, then we have our cause of death. If that's the case, it mean the one who killed Kaito wasn't Maki. That means it had to have been Kokichi. It would be whoever was operating the hydraulic press. Kokichi. Okay. I see. Very impressive. The hydraulic press could have been the cause of death. You know what? Maybe he is in there because if he wasn't the killer that killed Kaito and Kokichi's dead as well, then who is the blacken? Himiko, Sumugi, Kibo? It can't be Maki. It can't be Shuichi. So it's one of them. But I feel like Kokichi might be in there now. But that's just a possibility. It is. I mean, he's right. What do you mean? It's possible that I killed Kaito with the press, but there's no way to know. Kaito's death could have been either the poison arrow or the hydraulic press. True. Both causes are possible, but you'll never be able to determine it. No matter what. No matter what? No matter what. That's not true. We can probably solve this mystery too. Yeah, without your help. Right, Shuichi? Yeah, right, Shuichi? She's the girl in the group projects that's just like, hey, did everybody do their part? Can you do mine too? Is it really possible to determine Kaito's actual cause of death? It is possible. I don't think it is. Because nobody was there to witness it. So we're never gonna know. I hate to admit it, but Kokichi is right. We have no way to prove the cause of death. What did you say? You can't check the body. And you don't have any conclusive evidence. True. You can't deduce any more from here on out. There's no way to know what happened. But I know. Because I was actually involved. So that's what you were trying to do. You were trying to commit an unsolvable murder. <laughs> do you finally get it? Yep, that was my plan. All right, well, come out of the exizel and the show us that you're really there. The case isn't the unknown victim, but rather the unknowable culprit. No one understands but me. Only I know the answer. There's no more room for deduction here. Choose the culprit with your own intuition. Intuition? <laughs> Are you troubled? I'm sure robots don't have intuition, right? But there's nothing you can do about it. This is just how the trial goes. So, who is the culprit? Maki or me? The heart racing excitement as the blackened and the spotless face off! It's voting time! Hey, don't believe this man. I told you, all he does is lie. All he does is lie. It's not voting time. It is voting time. Oh shit, it's voting time. Okay, but we didn't do the thing like the comic book style thing. I'm gonna say Kokichi's still the blackened. How come I can choose Kaito still? That's weird. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go with Kokichi. Please wait. Hey! That's my line! Oh, I'm the I was one who decides say. when it's I was like, how the hell time? are we gonna vote? We haven't even done the comic book style thing, and Monokuma didn't even say anything. Oh, come on, no one's gonna oh, no? out the truth. Let's just vote already. This won't be a problem, right, Monokuma? And the fact that we can still choose Kaito makes you. me a little suspicious. Just like you always Makes do. me a little saucy pants. Huh? Uh, yes! Uh, of course! Yeah? What kind of a reaction is that? Yeah, that was pretty weird. The, the culprit, you say? Uh, yeah, uh, yes! Uh, of course I know! Why are you sweating, big guy? Hmm? Why do you seem so flustered? Flustered? Me? <laughs> what are you talking about? What's going on with Monokuma right now? Monokuma? Do you not know who the culprit is either? Oh, shit. Uh, oh, what do you mean I don't know? Uh, what don't I know, huh? <laughs> you don't know, do you? What does this mean? Why doesn't Monokuma know who the culprit is? Because Kokichi's right. It really is an unsolvable murder. Like, did the poison get to him before he died from the hydraulic press? Or did the hydraulic press get him right before the poison finally hit? We're never gonna know. Or are we? Monokuma doesn't know who the culprit is either? 
If Monokuma doesn't know, what does that tell us about this case? Wait, this case? Yes, that's it! So that's what Kokichi's real objective was. Huh? What are you talking about? Kokichi wasn't just trying to commit a murder that we couldn't figure out. He was trying to commit a murder that Monokuma couldn't figure out either. That's pretty ballsy. Murder Monokuma couldn't figure out? That's some big brain shit. But what's the point of that? Kokichi's the one who's controlling Monokuma. But consider how many elements of this case would be cleared up. Prior to this case, Monokuma always knew the specific details of each crime, correct? That must mean that he was using some way of monitoring us. Perhaps there are hidden cameras, strategically placed to avoid our detection. I can't say for certain, but he must be keeping watch somehow. Kokichi probably used the Electrobomb to scramble whatever that was. The Electrobomb would prevent any cameras from sending video wirelessly. Smart. Which means, it wouldn't matter where the surveillance cameras were hidden. Like I said, what's the point? Kokichi's the one who's controlling Monokuma! Before we determine that for sure, I want to make one thing clear. If the objective were to create a crime that would stump Monokuma, the Exosols... Yes, the Exosols weren't protecting Monokuma. They were... What? They were what? They were attacking him, bullying him, watching him, watching him. They gotta be watching him. That's it. Kokichi was controlling the Exosols. They were watching Monokuma. Making sure he didn't move. Watching him? Yes. Remember what Monokuma said? But I thought Monokuma could see everything. And Monokuma is just like another camera, basically. Or it's just like a puppet for the mastermind. So the mastermind would be able to see everything, no matter where anybody is. And Monokuma is just like a puppet for the mastermind. Am I even making any sense? Oh, at the time, the Exosols were on autopilot and directed to only observe me. Yeah, my Monokuma voice, hey, he's still on point. Like bodyguards, they wouldn't have been facing him. They would have been scanning the area, watching us. Mm -hmm. But they weren't. That implies that they weren't watching us. I got some eye drops in my him. eyes. Hold on one second. They were trying to make sure that Monokuma oh. wouldn't go near the crime scene. Oh, yeah, baby. That reminds me. Before I stole an Exosol, all four units were focused on Monokuma. That's why when I stole one to enter the hangar, the other three didn't pursue me. So Monokuma must have been talking about Maki. Even if it puts someone at a disadvantage, the class trial must always be fair. The person who shared that info with me didn't seem interested in sharing it with you guys. She didn't want to share that information because it would have linked her to the murder. In which case, it could only be Maki. You're right. Um, so to summarize this discussion, Kokichi used the electrobomb in the hangar and the exosols to watch Monokuma, thereby creating a scenario in which Monokuma has no idea who the culprit is? Correct. I told you there's no point! Kokichi's the one who's controlling Monokuma! No matter how many times you say it, it's not gonna be true! No. Stop Kokichi it! Kokichi might not be controlling Monokuma at all. What? But Kokichi's the mastermind, right? Shouldn't he be controlling Monokuma? Kokichi might not be the mastermind. Thank you, Shubi. Thank what? you for clearing that up. Remember that the only reason we think that is because Kokichi told us. Monokuma hasn't said a word about that. It's possible that Kokichi is just lying to us. <laughs> no way I lied! <laughs> I'm definitely controlling Monokuma. The mastermind of the killing game is totally me. He said four lies in two sentences. The one who pitted humanity's Why should we ever believe him? against each other is... Oh, me, baby. Oh, me, baby. Right. He's a remnant of despair. How do we forget that? But that doesn't necessarily mean that he's the mastermind. Yeah, it just means um, he's an asshole. Well, I guess. But is that really possible? Well, Monokuma? I can't answer that without causing problems. Because i got to run this trial fair and square. Even more reason to give us the answer. If you don't tell us the truth right now, you'll be an accomplice to Kokichi's lies. Does that sound like a fair game? 
Would you say this class trial is fair? Yeah, tell us! Is Kokichi the real mastermind or not? No need to think about it. You're being way too forward, you know. Aren't you normally the forward one? <sighs> I mean, I don't mind, because that's probably part of your strategy, too. But in the interest of fairness, I suppose it's time to tell the truth. Finally, somebody's telling the Unlike truth. Unlike the lies you love so much, the truth should be impartial to everyone. I mean, that should seal Kokichi's fate as the mastermind. He's not the mastermind because Kokichi would never tell the truth. And what is that truth? I'm not being controlled by Kokichi because he's not the mastermind. Thank you. Is that really true? Kokichi was just messing with you. I never once said he was the mastermind. Then it was all Kokichi's lie? Yeah, that is what that would mean. It's so funny that they're acting so surprised when with he's been lying literally the, the entire motive, game. He was the first to learn the truth of the outside world. Based on his deductions, he fabricated a lie to make you all think he was the mastermind. I see. Kokichi's own deductions. Do you want to know? Then I'll tell you. I'm getting kind of bored with all the lying. So everything I say now will be the truth, okay? His deductions got a lot of details right, though. Pretty impressive, honestly. Kokichi's an impressive guy. But what about the exosols? If Kokichi wasn't the mastermind, how would he control them so easily? He just used Mew's remote control, right? Mew's remote control? So the remote that Kokichi was using was made by Mew? Oh, you didn't know? Mew not only invented the electro bomb and the electro hammer, she also made a remote control that can hijack any electronic device. Yeah, hey, you guys know that remote. It's a plot Kokichi remote. Kokichi just slapped a receiver on each of the exosols and took them for a spin. Hey, isn't it a bit unfair to tell them all that? Fairness has nothing to do with it. I offered up that info purely out of spite. Spite towards you for trying to usurp the mastermind's role and take over the game. Well, whatever. It's way more interesting to defeat an enemy who plays dirty anyway. What's going on? It seems like they're actually fighting. There's no doubt about it. Kokichi isn't the mastermind. Are we just being dragged around by Kokichi's lies the whole time? What were you trying to accomplish by pretending to be the mastermind, Kokichi? Yeah! Now you're gonna be all quiet! It's kind of annoying that they're so, so surprised that he's not actually the mastermind. Then if he's not the mastermind, who is? Why are you so certain there's even a mastermind to begin with? Hey, Monokuma's right. What? What do you mean? Why, that's on a need-to-know basis, and you don't need to know! But I wanna know! The real mastermind is not Kokichi. Who could it be? I was thinking it was Junko and Oshima, but that can't be it. She's dead. We never come into contact with her. If so, who's done this? Who planned this killing game? Anyway, this conversation has flown off the rails! Let's get things back on track. This class trial is to figure out who the culprit is, not the mastermind. Watch you be Kaede, the girl we played so, as at the beginning yeah. of the game. Get to talking! <laughs> that would be some shit. Before we worry about who the mastermind is or what my intent is, let's figure out the culprit! But can't though, because the crime's unsolvable. Is. How is he supposed to confirm the results? We don't need to worry about that. Let's just leave the decision-making to Monokuma. But you gotta run the class trial too. Hmm. So no mistakes, okay? This is gonna be very, very interesting. Are you trying to get me to do something? Like how the hell are we gonna figure this out without You've any cameras, no evidence, no nothing? These cases. But you can't be a spectator anymore. You're gonna participate in the class trial from here on out. Hey. Hey. So let's resume this class trial. Monokuma? You gotta use your brain too. Yeah, I like where this is this going. Will be the final class trial. Me versus Monokuma. You versus Monokuma? When I play a game, I intend 
I like that. But what's I like that competitive nature. Beating the other players? No. Beating the game's mastermind is the true thing. And that's how I'll win! That's why I decided to challenge Monokuma! If I can deceive Monokuma till the very end, then I'll be the winner! You're dragging us around like this? Just so you can win a game? As I suspected, your thought process defies all logic. But since the outside world is in total ruin, this game is the only entertainment we have. At least I can enjoy this game to the fullest and feel good winning. You really are a remnant of despair. <laughs> Your way of thinking is just chaotic. Remnant of despair? Eh, whatevs. Let's just get this started. If the students or Monokuma don't know who the culprit is, then I'm the winner. Don't underestimate me, or Shuichi and the others for that matter. What? <laughs> it's just like a remnant of despair to try to assume control of the game. But these kids are all that's left of Hope's Peak Academy. If you think they're gonna make this easy for you, you better think again. Whose side are you taking here? Side? Isn't it obvious? Monokuma joins your party. Hey, that's pretty freaking dope. The ultimate despair headmaster. Let's see. Who invited you? I like this. Now, let's join forces and unravel the truth behind this case. But if Monokuma doesn't know, then how is anybody well, ever we gonna were know? Going to do it, eh? Who's gonna be there to confirm it? It's like we're all taking a test, but there's no teacher to grade it. Let's just ignore Monokuma. His actions are always beyond comprehension. Yeah! Let's just focus on the case! Alright, this is gonna be very hey, interesting. Be quiet so we can ignore you. Now, where should we start? We've already established what Kokichi is after. He's just gonna keep talking anyway, isn't he? In my experience, whenever you learn a new fact, you learn something else along with it. Yes, Is that true? let's look for that. You warmed up to him real fast. I guess you are both robots. So, another truth comes out. That piece of evidence makes more sense now. The evidence that I couldn't wrap my head around. Evidence that I couldn't wrap my head around. What is it? Is it this? Kaito's coat? Nope, it's not Kaito's coat. Okay, my bad, my bad, everybody. Hold on. Large black case. Now we know about that. The the swipe pattern blood stain? Shit, we knew about that too? Yo, we know about everything over here, huh? Okay, murder video. The murder video. This is it! Yeah, my bad. I was messing around. I was testing all of you. Let's discuss the video of Kaito being crushed by the hydraulic press. Wait, he's already dead in the video. Or he looks dead. Kokichi said that he filmed that video to prove he was not the victim. Yeah, that but doesn't we know shit, that Kokichi though. was trying to mislead Monokuma. So what about the video? It's pretty strange to present evidence that condemns you after all. And then he and swears it wasn't edited, mistake right? Mistake was Kokichi trying to get me to make. Maybe he crushed Kaito with a hydraulic press, so the cause of death would be unknown. But if that were the only objective, there would be no need to film it. Discovering the crushed body would have been enough. No need to show us the film. That's true. I guess you're starting to fit in after all. If you get any cuter, I'm gonna hug you. What if Kaito's? Huh? Not really under the really? hydraulic press. There must be a reason you went out of your way to show us the body being crushed. Misdirection? No reason, really. Magic? That's just my twisted personality. There's no way Kokichi would film that. You're lying again, Kokichi. There's a method to your madness. If you wanted Monokuma to make a mistake, then showing us the video. It must have something to do with trying to fool Monokuma. Taking the video of the murder but keeping the victim's identity hidden. What does it show? What doesn't it show? Hey man's gambit. Okay, I have no idea. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's a six letter word. What's that? C? Okay, how do I make things appear? Oh, like that? Okay, hold on. How do I do that? This? Nope. No, that's a C again. V? V. I? V. Vit. No. 
Und weg. 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 Victor? Victor? Uh, Victor. What does Victor mean? I don't know Victor. I never met a guy named Victor. I swear I don't know him. Victim. It's not Victor. It's Victim. There you go. Victor. I can't believe it's Victor. Why the hell did I say Victor? Who's Victor, huh? Hey, I don't even know Victor. I swear. Victim. Huh? Is it even possible? No, that's a question for later. For now, we know that. If you show the moment of Kaito's death, of course it would lead us to believe he died. Didn't I just say misdirection? Even if we can't positively identify the body, we would still believe Kaito was the victim. And that might be exactly the mistake Kokichi was going for. Does that mean the victims were switched? What? Switched? Then it was some other dead body that got crushed by the hydraulic press? What? Where would he even get another body? I have no idea. There should be plenty to choose from if you reuse the body of a former victim. No, that's not true because they all died execution no style, right? Then we could guess the victim was. Switched. Oh wait, no, that's not true. Because we don't know where the victims actually went, like the people that got killed. <laughs> but too bad. Switching the victims was impossible. Especially because that one looks exactly like Kaito. Unless right at this moment right here, you switch the bodies. The footage showed the body being crushed. Oh, I don't know. When in the this is complicated. They have been able to switch the victim. Like I said, maybe you edited the and video, but just lied and said that you did it. That the footage was not doctored in any way. I'm confused. The camera doesn't have any editing functions. Just play, record, and pause. Yeah, you can hook a camera up to a computer and then edit that way. Duh. Monokuma also said that no computer was used oh. to edit the footage. Remember? Oh, never mind. Damn it! Me and my big mouth. <laughs> Which means switching out the victim would not be possible. Also, if the victim was switched, then that would mean Kaito is still alive. We yes. already discussed this so many times. The chance of that happening is impossible. It might be possible. Huh? There could be a trick to make the switch possible. We just haven't noticed it yet. If Kokichi oh, switched the bodies and, what trick is and Kaito's that? alive, I'm gonna go crazy. See, you don't know, do you? I already said it's impossible. Maki's not wrong. There is a way it could be done. Tell us. So tell us right now. Just give up here. Don't make me figure it out. Just tell us, please. Hey. I want to know. This is very interesting. I'll think harder about this as well. So, can you confirm whether or not the victim switched places? If Kaito is alive or not? Maki. I don't like the thought that I killed Kaito. I don't. Want that. Okay then. Let's talk about the possibility that Maki Roll mentioned. Himiko, if you call her that again. Yes, please. Oh, uh, okay. Then let's all tuck it over together. Together. And don't forget, you're not alone. Don't try to do everything yourself. It's only gonna wear you out. When times are hard. You gotta rely on your friends. Yeah, I'm sure we'll figure something out. Jeez, you guys are a stubborn bunch. There's no trick. That's probably another lie. Probably. However, if the victims were switched, then that would mean the footage was altered. How could it have been altered when we know that the footage wasn't edited? If we could figure that out, maybe we'd know how they switched places. Yeah, I don't know how it was edited or altered, but that, that video's video thicker than my dad's tips. Kokichi made it, so it's 100% suspicious. Facts. A trick to that video. Right there. Switch your room. Or once it stopped. Once it stopped. It stopped a little bit. What could it be? What's sus about it? Okay, spin the shits. We're gonna figure this out one time, one time, okay? Let's do this, everybody. I'm pretty sure everybody who's never seen this before is trying to figure it out in their heads. Let's do this, though. Um, hangers front shutter, what's that again? Oh, no, that's not it. Uh, murder video, what about the murder video? A video shot with a camera from the Exazil. It shows the moment Kaito was crushed by the electric, or the hydraulic press. And then what's the hydraulic press again? 
The body was crushed by the hydraulic. I think I know what it is. There it's hydraulic is press, and we gotta shoot it check, at no Kibo statement. In that camera. Because he said something about the hydraulic press stopped for a moment, and that's exactly what I said. I said it stopped real quick. So let's fast forward, and right over here. Slow down time, and ball. Bam! Hey! You're in the bone zone now, boy. You in the bone zone now, boy! Who is on to something? Isn't it weird that the hydraulic press stopped for a second? And for the record, I don't know what the bone zone is. But I'm because in it! When I'm in and it! When first investigated that hydraulic press... Yeah. It stops. Right... There! No, there! 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 Hey! Okay. Yes, that's right! The hydraulic press kept lowering itself without stopping. Yep, in the video, video though, it went... Watch, 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 watch. Right about there. Got him. Somebody's the arm did get crushed, though. Press stopped briefly? Right before it crushed the body? Yeah, for the fireman. But why would it stop? Because he was alive. Why did the press stop? There's only one reason I can think of. Because he was still alive. Don't do the mine mine. Come on. I don't want this mine, 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 mine. This shit, right? Yup. Okay, whatever the hell that is. That's the control panel, right? That shows that he's still alive? Or did Kokichi stop it manually? If he did, the then he's a real one. Stop the hydraulic press is the force stop button. Okay. An electro bomb went off in the hangar, which would have interfered with the safety function. Oh. There'd be oh. no way to stop the hydraulic press unless someone used the force stop button. When you say someone, you mean Kokichi, right? He was the only one there. Hmm. Maybe I pressed it by accident. <laughs> I don't really remember. So what of it? The press only stopped for like a sec. You can't switch the victim in such a short time, can you? That's true. There's also the question of how the bodies got switched while the camera was rolling. Yeah, that was a split that second. That would have clearly been caught on camera. While the camera was rolling. Oh, I see. It wasn't just the press that stopped. The camera stopped too? Huh? huh? What do you mean? If you stop something else at the same time you stop the hydraulic press. Yes, I see it now. That's how the bodies were switched. If you stop that, you could have swapped the bodies easily. That doesn't make any sense though. We gotta do another freaking mind mine, dude. Okay, it's not the electro bomb. Let's see. Is that the camera right there in the middle? Yep, okay. The camera stopped too. Just gotta keep hacking away at this. Like I'm a freaking coal miner mining a rock. Okay, come on. Get that. And BAM! Okay, but I know how cameras work. I see you can obviously see if there's more than one file. Because if you stop a recording, it'll make itself one file. It won't make itself two files. Even if you stop. Or no, it won't be two files that make itself one. If that makes then, sense. while the camera was off, they switched the body under the hydraulic press. Unless a camcorder works completely different than the cameras that I use. After the body was swapped, that the shit press don't make and no the camera were started simultaneously. Like, if you start a recording and stop it, it's gonna save itself as one file. Then when you start it again, it saves itself as another file. If you stop something and then start it again, it's not gonna combine and just be one big file. Unless, like I said, the camcorder works differently. So it just looks like the press stopped for a moment. And I guess. Yeah, like right here it stops. But that's quick. That's quick. That's what I've been saying this whole time! When did you ever say that? <laughs> so they stopped at the same time. The camera position did seem odd to me. But now I get it. The trick wouldn't work unless it was set up there. Huh? Why? To get the trick we just described to work, the camera had to be set up precisely. Yeah, so you can't see shit when the thing goes down. Let's pin that down. Where was the camera set up? It was set up... Right, wait, where's the... Where's the press? Is it right there? So it's like right here. There! I don't know, the map was like super aerial view. Could barely see shit. The video camera must have been set up somewhere around here. To operate the press and the camera at the same time, 
You would have to be near the switch. That's why the video was taken from that unnatural angle. Yeah. If they were recording it like normal, they would have used a better angle. And then you would have seen the body get crushed, no problem. And if it was recorded at such an odd angle, then that proves the trick was used. Camera angles, huh? Looks like your cosplayer experience is finally useful. Gotta get them angles. Well, Got cosplay to. doesn't really come up all that much in class trials. There was a reason the camera was set up there, but also a reason for the height. Like I said, so you can't see shit. When the press was stopped, you couldn't really see who was inside it, correct? Correct. That was intentional. The body is mostly hidden by the press, making the swap easier. The camera must have been placed at such a high position so it would produce that angle. But to make the hand do the exact same thing as Kaito's body? The hanger to adjust the camera's a stretch. Height. Did they get that stretch. in the warehouse too? Jeez, that place is like a 4D pocket. <laughs> you don't get to make that reference. Then, that logic is correct, right? Kokichi used that video angle trick and switched the victim in the hydraulic press. In that case, Kaito is... Or he was crushed by the press. He was swapped with a different body. Yeah. So Kaito's still alive. Yeah. Well, wait just a minute. What? What? But I just summed it up so nicely. Okay, let's hear what Shuichi Kaito, has to say before we get excited. The body you mentioned. What are you talking about? The bodies from the other cases. Hokichi's the mastermind, so he... No, he's not. Wait, the mastermind? Yeah, Kokichi isn't the mastermind, so... So he wouldn't know where the bodies are. I don't think he'd be able to produce a body to switch out. What? Well, Monokuma, do the rules allow for a body to be reused? Very well, I'll answer that. You're giving in pretty easily. Well, it's crucial information to make the trial fair. This discussion is pointless if it's not clear what the culprit was allowed to do, right? <laughs> You're a convenient mastermind, but I guess that makes defeating you worth my time. Now then, regarding the reuse of a dead body. That is impossible! All the dead bodies have already been thrown away. Okay, so who the hell got switched with Kaito at the very last second? Thrown away? The other bodies are gone? What the then hell? Who did Kaito switch places with? Kokichi and Kaito were the only ones in the hangar at the time. If they were the only ones present during the body swapping trick, then the real victim was... No! Wait, the third party? The other person in the hangar, the mastermind? So it was Kokichi? Oh my god. So it's Kaito, the one in the Exazil. If it wasn't an old body, it could only be... What's wrong, Shuichi? Who did Kaito switch places with? So is Kaito the killer? Maki, I think I missed something very important here. Something important? If I have the timeline right, then there were only two people in the hangar at the time. Which means that something had to have been decided before. I have to pin that down. Can't let anything escape me this time. Holy shit. Holy shit if Kokichi was the one that got crushed in there and Kaito's alive. God damn. Okay, what the heck? Bro, two big words? What the hell does victim help mean? Victim help. So that means... I can't believe I overlooked this. What do you mean? There were only two people in the hangar at the time the bodies were swapped. Which means they were working together. Oh, huh? shit! Working together? So they're both alive! The only two people involved in the swap were the victim and the culprit. But victim means that somebody died. The culprit was operating the camera and the hydraulic press while the victim lay inside. Bruh. Wait. If they switched places while the press and the camera were stopped... Wait. The person willingly went in there? The what the fuck? The press How? Was the Why? Victim. 
Yo, you couldn't pay me enough. You couldn't say enough for me to switch and be in that press. To put it simple, Hell no. Both people operated the press and camera at different times. Yo, Pinky, what's wrong with you? An impossible trick. Unless the victim and culprit agreed to cooperate beforehand. Yo, what the hell? Okay, so if it wasn't Kaito, then it was Kikichi. Is that even possible? And Kaito is the guy in the exizel. It sounds bizarre, but perhaps that was the whole point. Come on, show me the money! Commit a crime that was so confusing, even Monokuma would be tricked. Jeez! Sheesh. This culprit's a real jerk! Yeah, he's a real asshole! So, have you realized who done it yet? The culprit of the case. If my detective work hasn't failed me, the culprit is inside... If my detective work hasn't failed me, the culprit is inside that exizel. It can only be them. It's Kaito then. If the victims got switched, then it's my main man Kaito. The hell is Kaito? Oh, he was right next to me the whole time? Holy shit. Right? The apparent victim we saw in the video. He didn't say correct, Kaito. it just said decide. Which means. Kokichi was operating the hydraulic press and camera. At first. And then Kokichi willingly went in there? If the two of them switched what the while the press fuck? was stopped. Then the culprit who started the hydraulic press again and crushed Kokichi was Kaito. Must be Kaito. So, the person inside that exosol isn't Kokichi. What the fuck? It has to be Kaito. What did you say? So the culprit for this case is Kaito Momota. That is what the ultimate detective has deduced, right? <laughs> this friggin' trial, dude. Kaito is the culprit? I'm still gonna call it. What? Nobody's in that exit. You're joking, right? No, I'm gonna stick to it. Be... I don't wanna believe it either. But it's the only way any of this makes sense. My detective work has led me to the conclusion. That Kaito is the culprit. You know what? I'm just gonna go with this theory that the camera stopped, just like we said, the hydraulic press stopped. Kokichi lied on top of Kaito's body and they both got crushed. And nobody's in the exosol. Because you know what? So many random things are happening right now that I'm just gonna go with my own theories. Is Kaito really in there? Like Kokichi stopped the press, he laid on top of Kaito's body so they were both on their backs, and Kokichi was just on Kaito's back. And then he took off his shoe last second and threw it at the button for the press to go down. And they both died happily ever after. I'm just going with that. I don't even care no more. Hey, answer us! If you really are Kaito, then I'm the culprit. Huh? There's just no way that Kaito can still be alive. Because I'm the culprit. Wait, you? But didn't you say- You know what? Start Everybody at this point eyes. is gonna be like, no, I'm the culprit. No, I'm the culprit. <laughs> Kokichi drank the antidote that he stole from Kaito. There's no doubt Kaito died. And he died because of my poison arrow. But you told us you didn't want to kill Kaito! Yes, I never wanted to. I wanted to believe that I didn't kill him. But the truth speaks differently. In the end, I was just running away from the facts. Huh? I don't understand. Maki, are you trying to protect Kaito? If he's the culprit, you're trying to help him get away? There was only one antidote, so it's more likely he died from my poison arrow. This is the truth. It's not decided yet. I could have still killed him with the hydraulic press. Either way, those are the two options. Monokuma knows the answer, right? Huh? Are those the only options? I guess that's how things turned out. No, that can't be. The person in that exosol is... It's not Kaito. I saw Kokichi drink the antidote. Did you? There's no mistake. Did you really, Maki? Kaito is dead. I... killed Kaito. There is absolutely no doubt. That's... the truth. Ah, I thought so. Maki is trying to protect Kaito. I understand how she feels, but if Kaito was the culprit, why did he agree to Kokichi's plan? I can't imagine that Kaito would do something so selfish, 
There must be a reason for it. I truly believe that. But I have to get to the bottom of this before I can uncover that truth. But Maki, you don't know for certain that Kokichi drank the antidote. What? You saw him drink it right in front of you, but you couldn't confirm he actually did it. Yeah, wasn't the cat still on? There's another possibility. What are you talking about? Impossible. That's impossible. There is no other possibility. I killed Kaito. Okay. Oh shit, we're going against Maki? I killed Kaito. No, stop it. God, I that took forever. I saw Kokichi drink the antidote. Um, pretended to drink the antidote. It ends here. Holy crap, I did that one take Jay style. You know what I do? Kokichi just pretended to drink the antidote. He didn't actually drink it. He pretended to drink it? Drinking the antidote was part of his lie. Hey, you just can't Maki stop lying. could only see so much through the window. She didn't confirm Kokichi drank it. I believe that Kokichi knew this and just pretended to drink the antidote. After Maki left, he gave the antidote to Kaito. What a guy. What a guy. If this is There's all true, love Kokichi, man. All of this was done what a guy. To make Kaito cooperate. Make him cooperate? The swapping trick required the victim and culprit to work together. Why would Kaito's Kokichi agree to die? was essential to Kokichi's plan. However, I don't think Kokichi would be able to sway Kaito easily. He needed leverage. He gave Kaito the antidote in exchange for his cooperation. In exchange for his own life, you mean? Kaito had no choice. He had to I know, what's worth your life? Kokichi saved his life. Nothing should be worth your life. That's just Kaito's character. And Kokichi knew that. He swallowed his pride with the antidote and agreed to participate in Kokichi's plan. But didn't Kokichi make this plan? What good is it for him if he's dead? I imagine this was all part of Kokichi's plan to confuse us. You wouldn't think that someone would plan their own murder. He went so far as to give up his life just to create this mystery? That's pretty crazy. It's Only pretty nuts. Kokichi could think of something so nefarious. Who else would agree to die just to <laughs> execute their plan? Yeah, Kokichi is something else. Why would he go that far? I mean, Nagito would do the same thing. I bet Kokichi was Nagi determined Wagi. to beat me at my own game, no matter what. But too bad, Shuichi figured out the truth. So Kokichi really is dead and Kaito's in the thing. And the, the camera stops. Are you sure it's hey, not back. delusion? Delusion? A delusion completely off the mark to make you think that I die. But who cares what you guys think? This is between me and Monokuma. I don't give a crap if the extras in this game get it right or not. Extras? I'm fine with being an extra. You are an extra. Huh? Why? If we're just extras, then even if we get it wrong, we won't get killed. No, I'd still kill you all. <laughs> don't put Kokichi's words in my mouth. But why? You are being so friendly with us! If Monokuma gets it right, then he takes everyone's lives, yeah? Is Himiko supposed to be the comic relief of this game without the comic but if and without Monokuma the relief? But if Monokuma gets it wrong, then he'd have no right to Kashish. take everyone's lives. Kashishi if Monokuma Shish. doesn't know who the culprit is, then this killing game can't function anymore. Can't function anymore. I burped as I was reading it. Kaito. I believe in you. Mm -hmm. If you're cooperating with this plan, you must have a reason. To determine that reason, I need to reveal the truth. I still think Kaito is the culprit. Thinking of it that way makes all the pieces fit. I will show you the truth. The truth you can't deny. Here we go. Closing argument. All right, so if we are to believe that Kokichi and Kaito switch, then Kaito is the culprit and Kokichi is the victim. So let's see. After receiving the item from Himiko, the culprit. Well, let me see what I have. Electro bomb, Exil inside the hangar, trail of blood, the only antidote. Okay. Who did Maki hit with the electro hammer? Oh, Kokichi's not there yet. Where did the culprit shoot Kokichi? Not there. What opened the shutter and got inside the hangar? Who was hit by the first arrow Maki fired? 
Who was hit by the second arrow Maki fired? Bro, I'm not getting any of these right. What did Kokichi take from the culprit? The antidote. So let's put that in there. There you go. After Maki left, what weapon did Kokichi take out? The bomb. Yeah, because Kokichi is the bomb. Who actually drank the antidote? Well, we're not going to see that. What evidence did the culprit leave in the bathroom? Trail of blood? No, that ain't it. Why was Kokichi dragged along the ground? Oh, okay. Who was put in the hydraulic press first? Who was put in the hydraulic press last? What evidence did the culprit flush down the toilet? Okay. Um, hit the exile. Wait, what are you talking about? Who was hit by the second arrow? Who was hit by the first? What opened the shutter and got inside the hangar? Didn't I do that already? What the heck? Um, hold on. I'm confused. I am confused. This is the one with the electro hammer. Okay. And after receiving the item from Himiko, the culprit. Okay, I need Exazel in the hangar. Hold on, where is that? Is it this? Got it. Okay. So let's see what I unlocked. Drink the antidote. So it's right here. Drink the antidote. Kaito. I can't believe Kaito's the culprit, man. This sucks. What evidence did the culprit leave in the bathroom? What was it? Some with the crossbow. Kokichi in the press. That is so freaking sad, man. I hate seeing that. The culprit in the press. So lame. So lame, bro. God, I hate that. I hate I hate seeing Kokichi like this. Look, look at that. That's hella sad. What in the world? Assemble the crossbow. Okay, where's that at? Assemble the crossbow? Nope. Assemble the crossbow. Where is you at, baby? Right here. Bam! Got it. I haven't gotten anything wrong, everybody. I'm killing it right now. The culprit's left arm. Where did the culprit shoot? Kokichi. Hold on. Hold on, everybody. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got this. Check me out. Bam! Okay. And then, the other arrow went into the arm of culprit. Right here. Boom. Oh, shit! Wow, I'm so cocky. I'm so freaking cocky. I hate being cocky. Who was hit by the second arrow monkey fire? The culprit. Okay. And then, we got this. What evidence? Three arrows? Or Kokichi's clothes? What the? F okay, is that? We got one more ting. One more ting. One more bad ting. This All right. is the truth there of you the go. case. I did pretty good. I got a couple wrong, but you know what? Let's go over the trick that Kokichi and the culprit created together. Last night, Kibo saw Himiko from the window of his lab. Mm -hmm. She was carrying a black case and heading to the Exosil hangar. When she reached the hangar, she handed the case to someone through the bathroom window. That someone is the culprit of this case. Locked in the bathroom, the culprit had asked Himiko to bring them a certain weapon. A disassembled crossbow from Maki's lab. The culprit was going to use the crossbow to challenge Kokichi to a fight. Some time passed, and Maki made her way to the hangar. She was going to the hangar to kill Kokichi and save the culprit trapped in the bathroom. However, the hangar had an electric barrier preventing her from entering. Fortunately for her, she had an electro hammer to get around the barrier, in a way. She used her electro she hammer so bad to save an exosol and climbed inside. She knew exosols could bypass the barrier. Exosol so or exosol? One. Whatever. I like the way that I say exosol. Exosol. Around that time, the culprit Whatever. and Kokichi I don't care anymore. began their confrontation. Kokichi looked like he didn't give any shits. <laughs> While Kokichi was checking so up dope. on him, He's such a the culprit character. ambushed him with a crossbow. But the culprit didn't intend to kill Kokichi. They just wanted to disable him. Okay. 
that's why the culprit aimed for Kokichi's right arm. If they really wanted to kill him, they would have shot him in his vitals. True, true. Kokichi reeled from the arrow, and the culprit jumped on him immediately. He didn't want Kokichi to have the chance to summon an Exosol with a remote. While they were fighting, something happened that caught them both off guard. The shutter of the hangar opened, and an Exosol stepped inside. Kokichi was definitely not expecting an Exosol to interrupt. He pulled out his remote in an attempt to control the Exosol. But Maki leaped out of the cockpit and shot Kokichi with her crossbow. The Oof. arrow hit Kokichi right in the back. Oof. And it was no the tip was covered in a lethal poison from my lab called Strike 9 Poison. Hey, seeing Kokichi like that. The poison kills slowly. It seems as if Maki wanted Kokichi to confess before he died. But even with poison in his veins, Kokichi continued to spin his lies. When she had had enough, Maki tried to finish him off with another poisoned arrow. Man, Kokichi's a gangster. But this time, Maki was the one caught by surprise. Because Kaizo wants to be a hero! To keep Maki from becoming the Blacken, the culprit used their body to shield Kokichi. The culprit's left arm was struck by a poison arrow. That's pretty clutch. To get in the way of the arrow like that with your Maki arm. Maki remembered that there was an antidote in my lap and immediately ran off to get it. They should have split the antidote. The Strike 9 poison slowly circulated through their systems and would soon kill them both. But in that desperate situation, Kokichi thought up a clever lie. He incorporated this unforeseen event into his plan to help him win the killing game. Or should I say, help him defeat Monokuma. That was Kokichi's true objective. It's why he claimed to be the mastermind. He would have gotten away with it Thinking too. Fast, it Kokichi wasn't for you meddling kids. So that Maki could not re-enter the hangar. Thus, Kokichi's final lie was set into motion. When Maki returned with the antidote, she couldn't get back inside the hangar. So she went around to the hangar bathroom and passed the antidote through the window. But after the culprit was given the antidote, Kokichi immediately snatched it. Kokichi drank down all of the antidote while the culprit and Maki watched in horror. Maki must have been panicking, thinking the only antidote was now gone. She believed that the culprit was going to die from her own poisoned arrow, but it was all another one of Kokichi's lies. He had only pretended to drink the antidote. How did he pretend? Maki tried Backwash? desperately to break into the hangar. He put it in his mouth and then he just put it back in the bottle? Panel. But she couldn't get the shutter to open again. Defeated, she had no choice but to leave. After Maki had left, Kokichi took out another weapon. You're just saving that in his ass? An electrobar capable of disabling communication devices for hours. Kokichi's plan was to use an electrobomb to knock out Monokuma's surveillance cameras. That was why he commissioned Mew to make the bombs in the first place. After detonating an electrobomb, Kokichi coerced the culprit into drinking the antidote. In exchange for the antidote, That's Kokichi sad. asked the culprit to cooperate with his plan. That's really sad. I feel really bad for Kokichi. Kokichi needed to work with the culprit to execute his final lie. Under normal circumstances, the culprit would never have agreed to such a plan. But because the culprit owed him for saving their life, they agreed to Kokichi's request. Ah, request is a generous term. It was more like blackmail. In any case, the two were now working together as accomplices in an insane plan. There was a lot to prepare and not a lot of time. They had to work fast. If Kokichi died from the Strike 9 poison, the whole plan would be ruined. Yeah, because Maki would have been the culprit. 
After fabricating the scene in the bathroom, the culprit dragged Kokichi to the hydraulic press. That sucks. This is how the swipe pattern bloodstain from the so bathroom bad. to the press was created. Kokichi, Aww. with the support of the culprit, stood in front of the press's control panel. The two of them were finally ready to execute the insane lie. While Kokichi was setting up the video camera near the hydraulic press's control panel, the culprit laid face up inside the press, draping their coat over their shoulders. Man. What if it just crushed Kaito anyway? That would have been <laughs> Kokichi activated that been the press and the camera's record button at the same time. The hydraulic press came down slowly all caught on tape for us to see. Normally, the safety function would have triggered, but the electrobomb had disabled it. The press got lower and lower, and just as the culprit disappeared from view, Kokichi pressed the force stop button and the camera's pause button simultaneously. The two then switched places and also switched roles. The culprit and the victim. That just makes me sad. The would-be victim became our culprit and started up the press and camera. Kokichi had saved the culprit's life because his trick required their cooperation. Damn. Whew. He wanted to win the killing game, even if it meant dying himself. I mean, if you die, do you really win? And so, Kokichi was crushed by the press, and the whole thing was caught on video. The culprit's left sleeve was dangling from Freaking the press, disgusting. making us think he was the victim. Now alone, the culprit collected the video camera and tore the hydraulic press's power cord so that it could never be raised again. Smart. This would make it impossible for us to determine the identity of the crushed body. But there was another reason the victim was killed in this way. It obfuscated the cause of death, making the case that much more difficult to solve. This was all part of Kokichi's plan to create a murder not even Monokuma could figure out. With the press disabled, the culprit returned to the bathroom to flush Kokichi's clothes. Finally, they climbed inside of an exosaw to hide and waited with bated breath. And here they are now in this trial, pretending to be Kokichi. Damn. They're trying to deceive Monokuma in order to defeat the true <laughs> mastermind. And that's it. That's Kokichi's unidentified culprit trick. Poor Kokichi, though, man. That's terrible what happened to him. The culprit is in that Exosol. It's you, isn't it? Kaito Momota. The ultimate astronaut. Fuck. Ay, ay, ay. Damn, how do you all feel about that? I'm right, aren't I? That's you in there, isn't it, Kaito? Really? Is it really, Kaito? Open up. I must reluctantly agree with Shuichi's deduction. Man, Shuichi sure loves his crazy deductions. Huh? Still not gonna admit it? Admit it? But it's wrong. But logically speaking, his deduction tracks. If it's really Kaito in there, he would have admitted it by now. Is Shuichi's reasoning wrong somehow? No. My detective work was flawless. It's the truth. The ego on this guy. I'm sure that Kaito was inside that exosol. So why is Kaito still fighting me? Is this about Monokuma, or is there another aspect to this? You claim everything is set, and that's it. You don't have any evidence, do you? The only evidence is that we gotta believe that the bodies were switched last second. You all think the body was switched when the hydraulic press stopped for a moment. But that's just speculation in the end. No evidence to back it up. So if we reverse our reverse way of thinking, then it's likely I didn't do anything, right? 
It's totally possible that the body switching never happened and Kaito is dead. Not just possible, it's the actual truth. Huh? It's true, there's no proof that the bodies were switched. Yeah. No, we should trust Shuichi's deduction. I'm sure everything will be okay. This emotion I've learned, I believe you call it faith. That's what I feel right now. That's right. We have to believe in Shuichi. Well, I don't care either way. But if you guys get it wrong, you'll have to deal with Monokuma. What will the results of this voting time be? If Monokuma makes a mistake, he won't be able to execute anyone, right? Then it will be my victory. And that will ruin the entire killing game. Ruin? I see. So that's your objective. You mean to ruin the killing game itself? That's why Kaito has been so stubborn all this time. But what exactly does he mean by ruin exactly? Monokuma can do whatever he wants to the rules. How do you ruin something like that? What would be the point? Come on, Monokuma. Start the voting already. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting to it. Sheesh! Let's <laughs> proceed with voting time, shall we? Sorry I fell short of your expectations, but I'm pretty sure I won't make any mistakes. Cause I got the ultimate detective's airtight logic on my side. Now I know the whole truth and why. I believe in my own logic and I believe in Kaito. From this point on, it's not about logic. It's about how far I'm willing to go. I believe in you, Kaito. Not as a detective, but as Shuichi Sahara. Uh, can I just say something? I'd like to have one last conversation before we vote. Hmm? One last conversation? There's more to talk about? You see, before we vote, there's something I have to say. I just need you all to listen. Oh wait, we gotta do something again? Wait, what? Okay. Alright, let's pin this down. Who do is it. inside that Exosol? Hmm? Kaito, right? That's Kokichi's what you said disappearance. it. Hold on, what's that? No one had seen Kokichi during this entire investigation or up until the start of the class trial. Isn't it? Kokichi's the one who died! And the culprit is Kaito standing right there! Isn't that correct? <laughs> of course not! I would never die! I trust Shuichi! What? That's the only one? Kaito is trying to ruin the game. That's why he's hiding the truth. Alright, okay. let's pin so this down. It's Monokuma's... Uh, Who is inside that Exosol? Monokuma's thing, I gotta shoot that, right? Okay, do I switch the bullet to Kokichi spotted? Kaito, right? No, that doesn't make any That's sense. Kokichi's the one who died. That actually makes no sense. <gasps> but I lie anyway. I the truth. Okay. I knew I had to lie because none Kukichi, of those bullets made I'm sense. I'm sorry. I just can't lie for you anymore. What? What do you mean, lie? Why did you say Kokichi? The one in the Exosol is... I'm so sorry, everyone. I've deceived you all. What? Huh? The truth is, after we found the crushed body, I saw Kokichi. You saw Kokichi? Wait, he's obviously lying, duh. Yes. He <laughs> Sorry. Me, told me I was... that if I didn't do what he said, he I felt like all. I was being deceived by Shuichi too, but he's obviously lying, duh. He wanted me to lie about what I saw, so that the trial would be more interesting. But I can't do it anymore. I can't keep lying like this. I have to tell the truth. Kokichi isn't dead. He's alive. Oh, hold on. Why did you wait until now to mention this? Okay, what is going to so happen? Sorry, Kibo, what are you up to, Shuichi? It's true. Really? I really am sorry, but this is the only way. Kaito is trying to fool Monokuma, trying to ruin the class trial. If Kaito is risking his life to do this, then I'll stand by him. I believe in Kaito. I will believe in what he's trying to do. He's not doing this to hurt us. I'm sure he's trying to save us all. If Monokuma wants to rely on my detective work, fine. I'll just lie. Everyone, please. Don't vote for Kaito. 
There's no doubt about it. Kokichi is in that Exosol. He's the culprit. Hey, Shuichi. I don't know what you're scheming. Oh, Fook. But as far as I'm concerned, you guys aren't extras at all. If you guys are wrong, you're gonna have to take your punishments like champs. Got it? I'm not wrong. We can't vote for Kaito. Stop it. That's enough. Huh? It's over. <laughs> if Freaking you guys get it wrong man. and Monokuma gets it right, then you'll all get punished. There's no Wait, way. Wait, why do you have your coat back? Happen. So, it's fine. Let's end this. That's cool though. That's a cool reveal. I like it, but we knew that Kaito was Kaito! in there. So, it really was you? My bad for tricking you guys. I'll explain everything. But before that, it's voting time. All right, don't get it wrong. I'm definitely the culprit. You got it? I'm the one who killed Kokichi. Kaito, no! It's just like you to figure it all out, Shuichi. You're really something else. So all you gotta do is believe in your reasoning. That's what detectives do. Hey, Monokuma, let's hurry up and get this vote started. <laughs> well said. Let's get this started then. The heart racing excitement as the blackened and the spotless face off. It's voting time. Shuichi messed that up, didn't he? He should have just stuck with Kokichi being inside the Exosol. What if we vote for Kokichi? Can we just vote for him? <laughs> Imagine if we do. Damn. That sucks. Yeah, what if Shuichi just went with that plan? Monokuma trusted Shuichi's detective work. It seems the so he would have just agreed. Finished. Now then, let's see the result. Well, if the culprit's gonna confess, then I guess even morons can't screw this up. Absolutely the black and who right. killed Kokichi Oma is Kaito Momota. You all got it right. Hmm. So you all got it right, huh? Even Shuichi and Makiro voted for me. <laughs> what a relief. Well, I knew you guys wouldn't get it wrong. But you know... But man, was it hard to act like Okichi the whole time. I mean, sure, he wrote most of his own lines. Jeez. Seriously, look at this huge script. He wrote the whole thing. It's even got a bunch of alternate lines for different events, too. Huh. But even so, I still had to ad-lib. You guys couldn't tell, though, huh? Come on, man. Hey, come on, guys. Don't look so sad. You guys got it right. It's all good. Why? Hmm? Huh? Why did you kill Kokichi? You were against the killing game, so why did you kill him? I believed that you absolutely wouldn't do such a thing. Maki. Was she protecting Kaito or just believing in him like me? That's right. Yeah, I should explain. Most of it's just like Shuichi said. After Kokichi pretended to take the antidote, he gave it to me. Good guy, Kokichi. I mean... Then he told me I had to cooperate with his plan. Hey! Plan? What plan? <laughs> I've been thinking this whole time of a plan to throw the Mastermind off guard. What? Throw them off guard? What are you talking about? You're the Mastermind! Ah. Oh, um, that was a lie. I only pretended to be the mastermind. What? Pretended? You all fell for it. But, you know, I prepared a bunch of stuff. Like this remote control. I had Mew make it. The mysterious message in the courtyard. Using Gonta and making him a murderer. All that preparation was just to make you guys think I was the mastermind. What? What the hell? Why did you do all that? The reason why I pretended to be the mastermind Shit! Was to end this boring killing game. Huh? To end it? Yeah. I thought if I showed you the despairing truth, you guys wouldn't want to go outside anymore. I thought it would end the killing game. But instead, this happened. I'm gonna die by Maki's hands. Why do you think this happened? Why do you think Maki tried to kill me? Why do you think the killing game started again? What? Why? Oh, because man. the true mastermind instigated it. I'm certain of it. They made a move without us noticing. Man, thanks to that, everything is ruined. Hold on! The true mastermind instigated it. So whoever that person is, 
They also instigated Maki's actions too? I'm disappointed. Yeah. They probably tried to eliminate me because I pretended to be the mastermind. What? My actions were instigated by the true mastermind? But that can't be. The reason I decided to kill Kokichi was because I remembered the truth from the flashback light. Could it be? Maybe making you remember the truth was what the mastermind wanted. Huh? What? Hmm. Maybe the true mastermind had us use the flashback lights. So we would target Kokichi as a remnant of despair? Which means... So the flashback light itself was the true mastermind's trap all along? They expected us to target Kokichi once we remembered he was a remnant of despair? Okay. Kokichi certainly expected it. That's why he talked about the true mastermind. But even so, this is all rather convenient for the true mastermind. The person claiming to be the mastermind just so happened to be a remnant of despair? We're all students of Ho's Peak Academy, and our fates are tied to the remnants of despair. I never would have imagined that fate would bring us to Kokichi's murder. It just plays too nicely for the true mastermind. Hmm. I didn't know about the flashback light. Guess that's another mystery for you. I mean... Anyways, like I was saying... You know... Then who is the true mastermind? Hmm. Who knows? I don't know either. But... But it doesn't matter. We can't lose. This game is pointless. Unless you win. That's why I thought of a special plan. When I'm on the verge of losing, <laughs> my plan will help me win. Huh? I don't really get it. But is this the plan to throw off the mastermind? Yeah. Well, it's not that difficult. Kaito, I need you <laughs> to kill me. What? What? I mean... The plan was to make a case where the victim was unknown. And then trick Monokuma into thinking I was the victim so he'd mess up. If he ruled that either Maki Roll or Kokichi were the blackened, then I'd show myself and Monokuma's ruling would be invalid. And if Monokuma's ruling was invalid, the killing game would end. But... That's what I'm most curious about. What makes you think it would end? That's right. Yeah, I asked Kokichi about that myself. Why would Monokuma care if he messed up on who the Black and was? And this is what he said. Well, you know. Even if it's Monokuma or the true mastermind, they can't break the rules as they please. Being unfair like that isn't allowed. Hold up. What do you mean? Yeah. Death games are meant to be watched. If no one was watching, there would be no reason to be such a stickler about the rules. There would be no point in making this a game in the first place. But... Well, Monokuma's been a stickler about the rules, and about making the game interesting. That's why he agreed to my plan in the virtual world. Which means... Which means Monokuma is aware that someone is watching us. In which case, I have no doubt that this death game is being shown to someone. What did you say? So, this is some kind of show? But... But who'd be watching? We're the only people left alive, aren't we? Yeah. That's right. The flashback light is the reason we even remember that. Nah. But Kokichi might have been right. Why have a death game if no one's watching? I wasn't sure about it at first, but after this class trial, there's no doubt. Listen up. Monokuma can't do whatever he wants. He's bound by the rules of the game. That's why he couldn't afford to get the culprit wrong, while he relied on Shuichi. Yeah. It's just like Kokichi said. If this game's rules matter so much, someone's watching. A death game is made to be watched. If that's true, then who? Who is watching this? Hey. What's this all about, Monokuma? Is this killing game really a show for someone? <laughs> Who can say? <laughs> eh, why won't you tell us? We were friends during the trial. You guys. Honestly, I was just happy you guys cooperated with me. Well. Humans love to help. They jump at any opportunity to extend a helping hand. Well then. Then here's another question. Who are you really? If Kokichi, a remnant of despair, is not the mastermind, then who's the true mastermind? Is it another remnant of despair like him? Ahem. I'm not gonna spill the beans on a perfect to be continued cliffhanger like that. Uh. Why, you are just too cute. What? Huh? Really? Hey. I understand Kokichi's plan, but why did you agree to work with him, Kaito? Why did you agree to kill Kokichi? Because he saved your life? You should have just ignored him. He's better off dead anyway. Uh. It's kind of hard to ignore such an annoying guy. Huh? What? Jeez. Jeez, I wonder how far ahead he planned this evil scheme of his. What? Yeah, but killing you. Don't screw around. What are you talking about? You want me to kill you? Ah. I figured you'd react like that. But are you sure you're okay with that? <laughs> because if the poison kills me, then Maki would become the blackened. And her crime would be exposed so easily. Well, yeah. If that happened, then Maki and I would have died for no reason, right? Which is just what the true mastermind expects. What? Damn it! Let's you... blink dirty! 
So that's why you gave me the antidote. <laughs> I am the ultimate supreme leader. There are no depths I won't sink to. <laughs> Even if I have to sacrifice myself. Anyway, this is our chance. Our chance to end this killing game. Ruin this That's killing game. That's why you have to kill me. So we can win and ruin this killing game. We'll bring the true mastermind and everyone who's watching. <laughs> we'll bring them down to utter despair. Then everyone who died can rest in peace. <laughs> oh, 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 crap. I'm going to die soon. Can we get this started already? Damn. You're seriously crazy, dude. <laughs> but, you know... I wasn't boring, wasn't right? Definitely not. Definitely not boring, that Kokichi. Punk. You can never call Kokichi boring. Then, he blackmailed you by using me? Nah. Nah, I agreed to his plan once I heard the words ruin this killing game. Jeez. He was crazy, but that let him come up with some crazy plans. And we needed a crazy plan in order to stand a chance against Monokuma. I bet on that chance. I didn't have any other choice. Damn it. Because I'm out of time. What? Time. Could it be... Kaito... You mean your health? What are you talking about? But you said you were fine. You told me not to worry about it any... My bad. Uh, my bad. That was a lie. Huh? A lie? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty bad. Honestly, I'm at my limit just talking. <laughs> no, it can't be. But you know... But I gotta wonder how this happened. I don't remember at all. In my memories, I was fine during the medical exam for my training. If he was fine during the medical exam, then that means... Could it be... This might be... The virus. What? Virus. If I remember correctly, one of the plagues that caused our planet to crumble, a virus carried by meteorites that spread across the globe. Hose Peak Academy, along with the rest of the planet, was in danger of extinction. Even though we had come so far and triumphed over so much despair, we were almost wiped out in an instant. Could it be? This must have something to do with the virus. Kaito didn't use the flashback light, so he might not remember it. But but weren't we supposed to be immune? We were selected because we didn't... Well... Perhaps the virus was dormant when you were selected for the gopher project. To tell you the truth... You could have been infected the whole time, showing no symptoms until very recently. What did you say? What? <sighs> Kaito is infected with the virus? But how could that be? Jeez. I don't know what you're talking about, but I guess I'm pretty screwed, huh? Well, I knew this was coming. That's why I agreed to Kokichi's plan. But you know... But you know... When I found out about the plan, I thought it was pretty awesome. Hey, so... Kokichi left me with a whole outline of it. I freaked out when I read it. It was a pretty good plan. I thought we might be able to trick Monokuma. <laughs> but I knew Shuichi'd see right through it in the end. Huh? What? Well done! Ha! <laughs> and that's exactly how it went. Nice job, Shuichi. You're really something. Well then... Kaito, did you... That's right. Yeah, I knew you guys would figure everything out. Got it. That's why I was able to get on board with Kokichi and lie to you like that. Even if I messed up stuff during the trial, I knew Shuichi would see the truth. That's my sidekick. Eh, just what I'd expect from my sidekick. Why? Why? If you knew I'd see through it, why? Then... If you knew it was pointless from the start, then you shouldn't have gone that far. Nah. Nah, it was pointless. It ended up being a huge success. What's that mean? Why? I mean... Because of his plan and Kokichi pretended to be the mastermind... Got it. We got closer to the true mastermind's lair. Behind this truth... There's got to be a hint that leads to the real truth. Huh? The real truth? Yeah. Yeah, no doubt. That's why Kokichi gave his life. But you talk as if he was your partner when you hated him so strongly before. What? Oh, I hate his guts. Honestly, I'm still pissed off at him. He made us go through so much crap to the end. No, even beyond that. He was a lying sack of shit. Hey. It's getting harder to breathe, so please, can you? Hey, so. Hey, can I ask one thing? You want to ruin this killing game, but you kept saying how fun this game was. That was a lie. Obviously. How could a game that you're forced to play be fun? I had to think this game was fun to survive. I had to lie to myself. Huh? You little... The bastards who created this game to toy with our lives and the shits enjoying it. They all piss me off. Shit! That's why I'm willing to do whatever it takes to end this game. Kichi said that? Ah. That could have been a lie too. He probably just said it so I'd cooperate with him. Hmm. Was it really a lie? I think his dying words may have been the honest truth. It's a lie! No, it's definitely a lie. He's not the type to shed real tears. What? I wonder which one it is. A lie or the truth? Even now at the very end, I don't really understand Kokichi. 
But maybe that's what lying is all about. The truth is in the eye of the beholder, huh? Kokichi was the very embodiment of a lie. That pretty much wraps up my explanation. Now, finally, <laughs> I need to apologize to Shuichi. Huh? What? Me? I mean... To be honest, I was jealous of you. Huh? Jealous? That's right. Because you were always saving us, you know? Your detective skills kept us alive. You were just way too cool. And I got frustrated. My bad. So that's why I was so harsh on you. My bad. That's wrong. Hey, no, Kaito, that's not true. Hey. I was only so confident because you were there for me, Kaito. When you made me your sidekick, you said that you'd take the responsibility. That's why I can do all of this. If you didn't talk to me back then, even now I'd be... <coughs> oh, shit. Uh. Kaito? Kaito! What? Kaito, are you okay? Uh, how can I be okay? I'm about to die. Okay. You sure are, bucko! Because it's punishment time! Oh. Punishment? I won't let you. I won't let you kill him. Oh? Oh, you planning to get in my way? You know what'll happen if you do that, don't you? So what? I don't care what happens. I plan to kill you anyway from the start. Indeed. Yes, I've been determined to fight back for a while now. Cut it out. No. Stop. Kaito. No, Kaito, I can't. I can't let you die, Kaito. That's it. I don't care if you're sick. I don't care if you're dying. I won't let Monokuma touch you. Oh, just thinking about life and how irreplaceable it is. Know what I mean? Huh? What? Hmm. When a life ends, those closest to it mourn. But if you could somehow recycle that life, then those closest to it wouldn't need to mourn anymore, right? That's nice. If we could recycle life, the world would be filled with hope. That's my point. Hey! What are you talking? Hey! All right, kids. Time for your grand re-entrance. <laughs> oh, wow. What Why in the fuck? With our powers combined, we are the Monocast! Hey, I'm happy to see them, but what in the holy fuck? Huh? Okay. I mean, that's cool, but uh, what? I'm Monotaro. No matter how you read it or spell or say it, it's still Monotaro. What the? That's totally a lie. By the way. What the hell is going on? I could have sworn there was more used chumps before. Hell yeah! Fuck if I know. Let's destroy Monodem now. This sad sack is bumming me the fuck out! What the? Weren't all the monocubs completely destroyed? Hey, um... Those old monocubs were destroyed. These monocubs are the latest model. They still got their factory settings, so in a way, it's like they're brand new characters. Thank you so But who cares? Now that my cubs are back, I'm not lonely and miserable anymore. What was that? You brought them back on a whim like that? You guys... You guys are just as replaceable. Maybe not as replaceable as the monocubs. But finding other people to participate in this killing game is easier than you might think. Finding other people. Oh, well. I got no idea what's going on or what any of this means, but that's right. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! We're so freaking lovable and shit. Except Monodam, of course. Hey, hey! Oh, do you know what else this means? Shing. Now that the Monocubs are back, I've got my Exazel entourage protecting me again. Still want to defy me now? Huh? This is bad. If he's got the Exazels again... So what? I won't let it you kill matter. him. It doesn't matter. I won't let you kill Kaito. I'll fight until the end. <sighs> Stop. Even if you fight the Exazels, you'll just get killed, damn it. The remote control and the last electro bomb were crushed in the press. No. No, I won't give up. You... Maki roll. You... Enough already. I... I've never felt this way before. I've always fought to kill, but this is the first time I've fought to protect someone. Huh? huh? And I've never been given a nickname like Maki Roll before either. What? You. I... And I've never met someone as stubborn as you before. <laughs> and I've never fallen for someone before. Aww. What? That's sad. No. I don't want this to end. I just don't. I won't let you kill That's him. why I won't let you kill Kaito. I absolutely won't let you. My bad. Maki Roll, I'm sorry, but that's not an option. I don't have as much time left as you think. <sighs> I'm... Fighting just to stay standing. I... But I... Hey, so... Hey, Maki Roll. I asked you before. What's your enemy? Before, you hated yourself so much. You didn't even like yourself a little. And wasn't that the reason you tried to distance yourself from others? That's right. You decided that you didn't deserve to have friends, didn't you? That was your enemy. Don't worry about it. But not anymore, huh? You're alright now. <laughs> you fell for a guy like me. Now you can learn to like yourself. 
Come on. Hey, man. hey, don't cry. Can't you send me off with one last smile? I believe in you. You guys too. I'm not gonna allow any tears. Send me off with a bang. Uh, okay. All right, Kaito. I won't cry. I'll endure it. Me too. I'm gonna hold it in. <laughs> yeah, I'll endure it. I. I can't cry, even if I wanted to. <sighs> hey, sorry about the wait, Monokuma. You can go ahead and start now. Okay. Can do. Dong dong dong. Oh boy, my first punishment time. I've never seen one before. Hey. But let me just say this to the true mastermind controlling Monokuma. Get ready! You better get ready. My friends aren't gonna lose to you. Ugh. That's all. Please. I'll leave the rest to you guys. End this ridiculous killing game. Please do not worry. We'll end it. So please, don't worry. Shuichi! And Shuichi, never forget. You're not alone. You have friends. Don't try to do everything yourself, okay? Uh, okay. Yeah, Kaito. Okay. The impossible Don't is forget, possible. the impossible is possible. All you gotta do is make it so. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Kaito. Maki roll. Maki roll. How long are you gonna cry? You should smile. Sorry. I can't. That's impossible. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> of course. My bad for making you cry like that. <laughs> All right. All right then. Let's end this with a bang. Kaito Momoda, Special punishment suited to the, the luminary of the stars. Okay. Okay. You don't gotta tell me. I'm excited to get this started. Get ready. Oh, yeah? Well, screw you. I'm not gonna die the way you want. It's punishment time! It was so obvious that Maki liked Kaito. But it just made me sad to hear her say it. To say it like that. When she said she's never fallen for someone before. And it would have been cool to see the students try to fight Monokuma. But I think we all know how that would play out. Let's see how this plays out. Okay, pretty much what you expect. I mean, he's an astronaut, right? It's got to be space-themed. Probably going to strap him to the rocket, right? Then blast him off. Blast off second ignition. Ultimate astronaut. Kaito Momota. Oh, never mind. Oh, he's going to go into the Earth. Bro, this man's going straight to hell! Oh, he's going past hell! Bro, imagine being in a place past hell. What would that be? Bro, you're going to hell hell. Oh, wow. Damn, Kaito. Execution failed. Yeah, so he said he wasn't going to go out the way that Monokuma said. Good. I'm glad he didn't give Monokuma what he wanted. I love that. I freaking love that. Kaito! Right? Kibo, are you okay? You got hit by that debris when you protect- Well... I'm fine. More importantly... <laughs> hey! What's the matter, Monokuma? Upset that Kaito won? Yeah? Eh, what do you mean, Kaito won? Because... He died before the end of your punishment. Kaito didn't die from your execution. Okay! That's right! Kaito wasn't killed by you. Yeah. It's Kaito's victory. Ah! Uh, I don't know if he meant to do it, but he certainly went out like a stubborn jackass. Well, whatever. It's not like this is the end of the killing game, so it's fine. What was that? It's not over? Hell yeah! Hell yeah! No shit! Hey! Ain't it written in the school regulations? That's right! The killing game will go on until there's just one blackened or two spotless. Hmm. School regulations. So you're gonna follow the regulations, huh? The only reason you want rules is because you're showing this to someone. Well... I just want an entertaining killing game, but you're certainly entitled to your opinion. That's wrong. That's enough. Enough of your bullshit, Monokuma. I made a promise to Kaito. I will end this killing game. That's it! And to give Kaito's death meaning, I swear I will keep my promise. You're right! Yeah, we're not gonna let anyone else die. <laughs> Who's even gonna play that game anymore? It's already over. Huh, you could cut this tension with a knife, 
What's everyone talking about anyway? Well, actually... Feels like we stumbled into the last act. I don't know what's happening at all. Pops. Yo, Pops, fill us in. We want to help you out. <gasps> oh, Monosuke's acting nice. He's sucking up for brownie points. They are so oh, I just can't help myself around you cute little cubs. <laughs> Gather around, kids. I'll spend a whole month telling you about what you missed. <gasps> a whole month? Won't that take longer than the whole chapter? My I'll tell you all about it while I smother you with hugs and kisses. You kids go on ahead and wait for me at home. So long. Okay, so long, but well. Alright, later, gang. Oh, we can call them gang now. Hey, shout out, gang. Huh? Why did I stay behind? Because I want to give you all a reward for working so hard. Why, you? We don't want it. Just go away. You're really bugging. By the way, I don't know where you got the idea that this killing game can be stopped. There's nothing a participant can do to end this killing game. No way. Nah. -uh. This game is going to keep going and going for a long time. During his ranting, Monokuma took out... Huh? Huh? A flashback light? What? What? What did you just do? What? Was that a flashback light just now? Could it be? Is it broken? I don't feel like I remembered anything. <laughs> the flashback light has a special effect. You'll remember soon enough. You'll remember that despair is the only choice you have. Yahoo! And that hope doesn't exist here at all. <laughs> the killing game will never end. And then, Monokuma left. He declared that this killing game would continue. He declared, there is no hope. And after all that, I honestly don't remember how we got back. It took out all I had to accept the reality that Kaito was gone. And not just Kaito, Kukichi too. Someone we all trusted, and someone none of us trusted. We lost them both. But it wasn't all for nothing. Because we're drawing even closer to discovering the true mastermind. The killing game will never end. Never ever. As long as I'm around, it'll never end. It'll repeat over and over and over. Why would I let something this fun ever end? I want to have more fun. As long as it's fun, we have to keep doing it. That's just simple supply and demand. <laughs> Such despair. What the hell? Okay. Later that night, I found myself standing in that one spot in the courtyard. The place where Kaito and I would train together. My heart felt crushed. All the loss and guilt and helplessness sinking in my chest. But still I stood there. Well... What are you doing? Maki. Hey. So you came too. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Maki, I'm sorry. What? For what? Uh, um... I was the one who drove Kaito into a corner. Just like Kaede, I ended up betraying everyone important to me. It's all my fault. Well... Are you feeling lonely? Huh? Huh? Hey. Are you lonely now that Kaito was gone? Uh, okay. Yeah. Lonely. I feel so lonely and so sad I don't know what to do. The only reason I'm still alive right now is because of Kaito. If he hadn't been my friend, I would be... That's right. Me too. I can't remember the last time I ever cried that hard. I wonder how long it's been. Okay. But I won't cry anymore. I'm sad, but I'm grateful to Kaito. Huh? Grateful? Okay. Yeah, I want to tell him rather than being sad or lonely. I'm grateful to him. <laughs> That's why I won't cry anymore. I'm not going to wallow in pity. I want to show him how much I appreciate all the things he did. You're right. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it's the same for me. I want to show my appreciation, too. I'm sure that our friends who've passed on don't want to see us miserable. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, -huh. uh so you guys were here after all. Yeah. Just like I thought. Oh, I knew you guys would be here because I cast a spell to find you. Uh. Sumuki? Himiko? Um. um, if you don't mind, can we join you in your training? Huh? Huh? I'll train you all from the ground up so we can end this killing game together. Huh? We're gonna end this together? Yeah. Kimiko and I promised Kaito. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna do what we promised and work together to end this killing game. All right. We can't afford to lose to despair. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Monokuma said that there's no hope anywhere. But he's wrong. There is hope. My friends are my hope. Where's Kibo? Kaito said it best. I'm not alone. 
That's right. I have friends. Not just my friends here, but also friends who have died. They all gave us their hope too. That's why I'm gonna live. I want to live for everyone who died. Despair cannot defeat me. I will hold on and survive no matter what. Thank you, Kaito. Let your sweat wash away all your sadness, fear, worry, and hardships. Just start moving your body and your pain will become memories before you know it. Then you should train too. Well, I don't have anything to worry about. Cause, yeah. I mean, I'm Kaito Momota, luminary of the stars. Hey, no fair, Kaito. Hey! Oh, by the way... Uh... What happened to Kibo? Do you know where he went? Huh? Kibo? Uh, I don't know. Uh... Uh, what is that guy off doing? <laughs> I don't think a robot really needs to do any training. What? But the rest of us are here. I kind of wish he'd come too. Yeah, where is he? He was all glowing and shit. It's quiet. Too quiet. And yet, this silence is quite refreshing. I used to hear my inner voice with perfect clarity. It would fill me with the power of hope. Guide me along the right path. I can't hear it anymore. All I hear now is silence. That silence means my will is now my own. Even if despair is all we have to choose, even if hope no longer exists, I will never give in to despair. I... I will end this. No matter what, yeah, you I will. will force this to end. Yeah, you will, this Kibo. School, this ultimate academy for gifted juveniles is steeped in despair. Whoa. And I will destroy it. Shit. Okay, I don't know what that was about, but if that's what we're gonna get from Kibo, I will take it. But anyway, before we end this whole video, I just wanna say that was crazy. I, I thought that Kokichi and Kaito were both going to be dead and nobody was going to be in the Exazels. I was kind of hoping that it wasn't Kokichi just because, you know, I like Kokichi's character. I like Kaito's character too. But, hey, the way it played out, I got to say I like the way it played out. Even though Shuichi kind of ruined it for everybody, but he wanted to save everybody. He didn't want anyone else to die, even if it meant that they had to really point out who the Blacken was, which was Kaito. But yeah, it just sucks that Kokichi died. And it was cool that Maki confessed her feelings for Kaito, even though that was pretty obvious too. Kibo, we don't know what got into him, but he's like a new and improved version of himself. He's like a Kibo 2.0. We're going to figure out what's going to happen in the next episode. Hopefully you all enjoyed this video though. Make sure you give it one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude!